Uh, what joining me now is Sir Alan Wood, who has worked in children's services for many years and has led reviews for the Department of Education, the most recent on the role of local safeguarding boards. Uh, Sir Alan Wood, uh, good to have you. Uh, with us, incredibly sad circumstances. If I can quote, start by quoting uh, the judge overseeing the case, uh, Justice Mark Wall QC, he called, described the couple as sadistic, one of the most distressing and disturbing cases he had ever seen. How could something like this have happened? Well, this is what we have to find out uh, very, very quickly. Um, the tragedy that occurred happened 18 months ago, so I imagine that there has been a rapid review and that already people are seeking to identify uh, the issues that led up to this tragic death of this poor little lad. Um, the, what, what the serious case uh, review will now do is seek an independent assessment of the evidence that's been put forward by each of the agencies that work with Arthur to try to identify where they uh, were issues that they could have perhaps looked at in a different way to see if there were any systemic failings in an agency or across the agencies. And they'll also consider uh, the point that the NSPCC made that this happened at the early part of the lockdown and had that had an impact on the uh, tragic circumstances which led to Arthur's death. So the sooner we can get the results of the inquiry, and my guess is that they should be ready by, given the length of time that has passed since Arthur died, that they should be ready by the end of spring and it should be in detail and it should be forensic and it should hold no uh, fear in pointing out any failures if there are failures to be found. I mean, uh, you say well, there are details still to find out and that, that is true, but some things are apparent. In court, we heard the grandparents, uh, uh, the dad's own mother claiming that she reported her own son to police. His um, Arthur's uh, maternal grandmother also reporting to, to social services. Agencies still today are not working together and this is unacceptable, surely. I, th I think if agencies aren't working together, that is, as you say, Claudia, in it's just totally unacceptable. And that's what we need to find out. I mean, clearly, you know, the detail uh, which has been submitted through the court process has been uh, quite, you know, voluminous, uh, but there is more that people will want to look at that perhaps the court has not uh, had a sight of. In particular, I think people will be looking precisely at the point you make. Were people working together or were people simply passing things on thinking that their part of the process has been completed? So we have to see how expertise was brought in. So, for example, uh, if there was evidence that showed physical injury to the child, how was that assessed? Who assessed it and what decisions did they come to? Uh, following that assessment. So there's bound to be uh, a very thorough look at these things. I think there's a question at the heart of this, which is, do we need to do more to promote the operational practice in a multi-agency way? We have separate arrangements for the police, separate arrangements for uh, health, separate arrangements for local authorities, separate arrangements around schools, and people try very hard to knit those together. I think we need to be very thoughtful about that, and I think we need to see whether, in fact, the time has come so, to Sir think Alan, quite differently Sir Alan, about that. You're calling for a review. There have been a number of reviews over the last decades. One that you oversaw uh, two, two years ago, two and a half years ago. Would your review have made any difference if it was properly implemented in protecting Arthur? Well, I think that the, the review I carried out, uh, the fundamental purpose of that review was to improve multi-agency practice. And the thing it did was it took responsibility, if you like, and shared it across in an area, the chief constable of police, the chief operating officer of the health service and the chief executive of the local authority. And the specific they ro role they played is called the statutory partner. And it's their responsibility to make sure that the arrangements put in place to support multi-agency practice is as good as it can be, and there are no silos and no problems being created in one agency, for example, around data sharing, about information sharing, about training, cross-professional training for staff, uh, are taking place. I'm not calling for another review. I'm saying there is a review, and that will give us an idea. What I am saying is I think we need to think very carefully about the professional development of our staff to see that they have got the skills, the skills of forensic assessment, okay. the skills of interrogation, to make sure that when they are receiving evidence, they can take that in a much more curious and challenging way. Well, let's see if hopefully finally with this review and, and any other will finally protect uh, children who are vulnerable. Uh, but for now, Sir Alan Wood, thank you. Thank you.